Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Well, I've got another frame to show you and this one's by GEP RC and as it says on the box, high quality FPV frame. Well, in all fairness, GEP RC, all their frames are high quality. So, right then, like I said, it's just a little 3 inch frame, it weighs 24 grams and it's uh, 3 inch props. And I believe it's yeah 140 mil, so yeah three inch. So let's uh, take a quick look. I'll tell you now, actually, just so I don't waste anybody's time. This video will be in two parts. What I'm going to do: open the box, show you what's in it, put it together, show you what it looks like all put together, right? And that'll be it. And then on the second video, which I'll do in a couple of days or so, right? Uh, I'll show you all the components I put in it and everything. Right, I'll get it all set up and take it for a maiden flight. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know because if not, this video could go on for too long, and I know some of you, just like me, get bored with long videos. But keep watching. Okay then. Right, let's uh, get this open if I can. Hey, pilots, I've had to jump in here. Sorry, but I just mentioned that there'll be a part two with a uh, build basically in the maiden well that's not going to happen unfortunately the motors for this uh, frame arrived today right? and my fault I've ordered the wrong size they're too big I've ordered 1407s uh, have come what I ordered and the maximum this frame will take at 1206 my fault right? I should have read uh, the information better but links will be in the description anyhow I'm going to keep the video going though, and even at the end it'll say part 2 coming soon or something like that, I can't remember now. But I'm going to keep the video going because it's a bloody good frame, right? just make sure you order the right motors for it. You will see it in the future, once I get the motors and everything, but uh, it won't be for a while now. So I just wanted you to let you know, but it's a good frame, so uh, enjoy the rest of the video. I'm sorry, but... It's one of them stupid things that I did. Anyhow, back to the video. Cheers. Ah, bloody hell. It did have plastic covering all round it, so it don't come just like this. Right then, just put that to one side. Obviously, right, like all get gear, you get like a little set of instructions, like a little manual, how to put it all together and everything. Right, but there's not a lot of pieces to it, so it'll be fine even for new pilots. And like all GEP stuff, once again, you get some stickers. Green and purple, identical, but it's nice to get stickers. Stickers are great. Uh, you should see the fridge freezer behind me. It's covered in RC stickers. And my toolbox upstairs, covered in RC stickers. I use them all over. Uh, let's see then. Oh, you get a couple of these uh, little straps, which are all right for your small quads. You know the ones where they just loop round and the Velcro pulls and you tighten them up. They're okay. They're not the best, right? But uh, you get two, so can't complain. You can always swap them out. Any? Oh, hang on, hang on. You also get a proper one, a proper uh, material leather strap with the rubberized one. Oh, so that's good. All right, so I wonder why they give you these as well. Well, that, that is somewhat we get past. See, you always get little extras, so we've got three straps. You've got your choices. You've got two of them, plus, uh, shall we say, a proper strap. But you always get little extras. And like I say, high quality stuff. Right, we've got a little mount here that fits on the back of your quad. It's one of them 3D printed mounts. I don't know what the material is because I don't own a 3D printer, so I don't know anything about 3D printing at all. Right, but it's to fit on the back of your quad so your antennas come out the back. Uh, I'll put a picture up. There you go, and you'll see exactly what I mean. I'll put a photograph up. Your antennas come out the back of the quad. Now, I'm not a big lover of that. As you'll know on some of my other models, I like the antennas to come off the side of the props. But uh, maybe, maybe, and I say maybe because of this next thing that's right on top here. I won't bother opening this, alright. It's some LED lights, a little LED strip, and it fits 
inside there the LEDs for inside so that uh, from the back this actually this particular material it's like it's like shiny and sparkly fairy dust it sort of glows and lights up so it looked quite flashy but once again I'm not really keen on having the antennas coming out the back anyhow so maybe maybe not we'll see what happens right uh, you've got your antenna mounts your little protectors where you run your antennas through which these will fit into there what we were just talking about all that way don't know yet uh, this is your, your top plate and your front camera mount uh, what we got here yeah. oh we got uh, rubber padding oh yes you can mount your battery on this your lipo you can have your battery mounted underneath a bottom mount lipo or top and they actually give you two lots of the sticky uh, sticky paddy stuff all right so you can put both on then you can switch and swap out you choose but you've got one there as you can see like a diamond shape which will fit onto the uh, top I reckon and the other one will fit on the bottom or vice versa you get some little standoffs and spaces some little nuts and bolts and stuff all your general stuff and you get your yeah, aluminium or for our American cousins aluminium uh, fronts for mounting your camera and obviously you get your base which is uh, three mil and I'll open this up to show you so you can get because with a plastic you're not going to get a great look at it are you? but with all gap stuff it'll all be uh, milled as in real nice smooth edges in there uh, carved around shall we say and this is this is beautiful it feels really nice I wonder if I if I hold that on there and hold it right up to the camera if it comes into focus and give it a tilt you might be able to see the edges see how smooth they are because they are really really smooth edges that is really really nicely well made all right but like I said all GEP RC gear is like this it's good quality it says high quality on the box and in there they don't need to put that on it is high quality it always is gap rc gear and that's super well made i know these will be exactly the same and everything the uh the fr front camera and uh the top plate right which feels very strong actually that's nice and like i say the frame is very strong it's got the tiniest tiniest bit of give but as i've said in previous videos you want that tiny bit of give because it works as the same way as your bumper of your car does as you hit it it gives a little bit of shock, absor shock absorption shock absorption bloody hell can't get my words out so yeah there's all the little bits and pieces so let's uh, put it all together right and uh, show you it all uh, put together loose fitting and uh, oh I've just noticed as well which I didn't spot before for the screws for the standoffs and the mounting this will definitely be the bottom because uh, i hope you can see that because that's quite a nice nice little feature these big holes here these four big holes they're actually milled down and they have a groove cut out so when your screws your bolts go in right they won't sit on top of the uh, bottom plate they'll bury underneath so the your battery will be dead flush with the base of the uh, frame which is very nice indeed right. I don't suppose the top plate will be like that because there's no need but yeah if you mount your battery underneath there's plenty of uh, room to uh, mount a camera on top of there probably not a GoPro not on a little three inch job but uh, something like uh, a Firefly a Foxy Firefly which uh, camera I like or uh, uh, what is it QS or S SQ12 or something like that not the SQ11 QS11 or whatever they're rubbish but right then yeah let's uh, put it all together and uh, let's do the wavy lines fade out fade in and I'll be back in a second cheers there you go then pilots uh, she's done I timed myself 12 minutes it took me 12 minutes I had a little bit of fiddling about to do here I got confused with some screws 
and that's it all. It was quite simple to put together. Before anyone says, wow, well, that's big, right, as in these antenna things, they make them big so you can cut them to whatever size you need, but that was just a way to give the effect of how they'd come out, but I'm not super keen on them. You'd just cut these to the length you wanted. I do prefer them going that way, basically. But each to their own, you'll decide that yourself as you build her, if you get one. And she bloody well well made she's quite strong she, in fact she's very very strong and as for being well made i expect that from gep rc but no uh, i like it and i really do like it i'm not just saying it i i really do like this these here extra match if you wanted a top mounting battery like i say you could also have that on another camera on there which i'll probably do a hd camera and uh, like i say the supplier uh, with a bottom one as well right? and it won't affect your yeah, standoffs for where your flight control board and stuff's going to go because it's all nicely cut out and everything and it's uh, as it would be a very very nicely well made frame right I'll tell you a quick bit of information real fast right? with the screws you don't get a lot it's not that complicated they're nearly all the same size apart from you get two small screws and just remember the two small screws are for here and here at the top right? and you get two longer screws and they're for there and on the opposite number there right? which uh, joins up this little uh, space about here so remember the two longer screws there two small screws there the rest are just standard screws they are all the same size but yeah, uh, it's very nicely made. I was thinking when I first saw it though, this piece of carbon here and the top plate resting on it, I was thinking, well, that's not going to be very strong, just resting on. And then after looking into it more, right, the aluminium runs underneath the top plate and this piece of carbon fibre here connects screws into the aluminium which runs to the bottom plate so you basically you've got the carbon fiber connected the carbon fiber side plate connected to the bottom and the top and the uh, camera mount and you also have the aluminium camera mount connected to the bottom and the top right on uh, both sides and it's very very strong there's no way I could push that down and bend it, crack it or anything. It would take one hell... In fact, I don't think it would actually break if you put it in a bloody vice, yeah. But uh, it's super strong, so there's no worries there. So, there you go then. Uh, all you need is, uh, turn it around so you can read it, a 1.5 uh, hex driver. Right, that's the same size for all the screws. I'll tell you something else I noticed though, inside for mounting your flight control board they put you some uh, little rubber standoffs which I thought was nice and also I don't know if you'll see it, I'll take that out to show you because if not you're not going to see it. It's just an extra little thing that the extra mile get RC go. I don't know if you'll see that on there, if I put it, if I turn that over and put it on there, hopefully, no I don't think the light's going to show up on that. Uh, put it on somewhat black, there you go, and hold it up to the camera, there you'll see this here, it's uh, a little uh, cover for your flight control board or your ESCs or whatever, but it's a plastic cover to, uh, so that when you've got whatever on your flight control board you can mount that on top of everything and just sit your VTX, uh, sit your your antenna on top it's just an extra little plate but with it being plastic plastic it's non-conductive so you're not going to get any shorts through it or out like that just an extra little thing to put in which i thought was really nice All right but like i said with get rc i've used their quads before and any uh, who subscribe to me know i had uh, one of the big uh get rc quads and it's thus probably still on top of that roof or whatever somebody's nicked it but you'll know what i'm talking about if you're a subscriber but uh yeah so it's a very very nice frame and there seems to be loads of room in there which is always good news that last frame i built that foster 
I, I had a few problems, it, it seemed very very tight, I had to mess about a bit to get everything in, but in here there's loads of room, so we're uh, very happy. Right then, uh, there she is, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, like I said in part 2 I'll show you all the components I'm putting in it, putting some new motors on, right, which you may have seen or you may not have seen, but uh, I'll show you everything I'm putting in show you it fully assembled and uh, take her out for a maiden ok then pilots and ground crew uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video I can highly recommend this frame it's really well made and I'm very impressed with it I'll leave all the information right, all the specs and everything in the description just go and have a look and I'll even leave a link make it easier just a link so you can click and uh, go check it out yourself but yeah, like I said, that's the one thing. I'm not 100% with this. Yeah, I might put the LEDs in and it might look flash. But, you know what I mean? I might try it, but I do prefer my antennas coming off that way, basically. And then if you crash, the antennas can't touch anything, no matter which way you crash. Even though you do lose a little bit of signal. Whereas if the, you do mount them that way, you're going to get 100% signal. But still, horses and courses, or horses for courses. In other words, it's up to you. Okay then, pilots uh, and ground crew again. <laughs> I know, I'm waffle. I'll leave it there and uh, watch out for part two. So, if you don't already, click the little bell and uh, then you won't miss any of the uh, videos that I put out. Okay then, thanks for watching and cheers.